Hey everyone, it's Gwaveth again. Uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback and questions on these videos that I've been making. Mostly positive, saying thank yous and things like that, so I thought I'd make another one. This is going to be a very basic coverage of what Ashita version 3 can do for you, how you set up a new Ashita, and really just getting your game set up to launch properly uh, for pretty much whatever server it, you're going to end up playing on. Um, there's a few minor things that you're going to need to do based on the server and whatever server you're playing on chances are you're going to want to reach out to their uh, staff on their discord server and see if they have any you know tips or tricks this is going to be very basic and try and cover as many bases as possible so first thing you're going to want to do is go to ashita11.com and what is ashita well it's basically a program that will launch final fantasy 11 for you it allows you to do a couple of things for private servers such as use the private bootloader which will be necessary to play on most private servers. Uh, you can also launch retail with it as well. So it's pretty useful to have in all of your installs in one place if you play different places. So for me personally, this is my personal Ashita install right here that I'm going to show you. I have all of my servers all on my one Ashita profile. So as you can see, everywhere that I play, I have ready to go. All I got to do is press a button and I can jump right in. What I did today is I downloaded a fresh copy. So I just clicked this button and downloaded it to a folder. I put it in an Ashita demo folder. This is the file that it'll download. We're just going to do its thing. Here we go. And what it's going to do the first time that you launch it, is it's going to make all of its folders and necessary files. It's going to download them. It takes a little while. And basically what it's doing here is it's setting itself up so that you can go ahead and configure it. Um, these are all of the add-ons and everything that come default with it. It's going to auto download those for you. It's going to put them in this plugins folder or the add-ons folder, depending on what kind of asset they are. And then once this is done, which looks like it almost is, it'll pop open for you automatically. It's going to look similar to the one I just showed you. Bam. So this is a vanilla fresh install. It looks like the Realms of Jova is actually already on here as a private server. Um, and then it also has default profiles set up for retail for full screen and windowed mode. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete all three of these for now, um, just for this demo. You can do that with the little trash can icon here. And we're going to set up our very first profile from scratch. So to set up a profile, first thing that you do as you press this little new configuration button, it's going to take you to this screen. And at the top here, you can name it whatever you want to name it. So for this one, let's uh, let's do, I should have kept the Realms of Jova one on there so I could have used it, but that's okay. Let's do retail for this one. Actually, no, that's a bad example. Let's do wings. So for wings, there's a couple of special things that you're going to need to do. The big thing, obviously, is going to be to download the bootloader, which actually, I'm just going to grab it from the Discord real quick. It'll be a little bit quicker than trying to use the website. Just, give me just a second here, we'll grab that real fast. All right, so we've got the bootloader downloading real quick. We're going to grab that from our downloads folder. And we're going to extract it to this Ashita demo folder. So extract to. And I have the Ashita demo on my desktop. Oh, right, alphabetical order. All right, Ashita demo. So now it's in the Ashita demo folder. And I'm actually going to organize it a little bit because otherwise this folder is going to get to be a little cluttered. So this says FF11 boot mod. This is where your bootloaders will go. The default one is called POL. Um, I'm just going to take my wings loader, throw it right in that folder. And this is where I'll keep all of my bootloaders. And I'll even rename it bootloaders. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is you're going to need a bootloader for any private server that you run. Uh, some of them use the basic one that's already in here, the POL. Uh, Wings is going to use the Wings loader. And you're just going to want to go into Ashita, 
and it's going to see a bootloader configuration file right here. You click the little three things right here, and it took me right to my Sheeta Demos folder. I'm going to jump into my Boot Mods folder, and some of them will show up because it's looking for Play Online executables, but if you switch this to All Files, the Wings Loader will show up too. So we're going to click that one, and then the Command Line. So the Command Line is going to be more or less the same for every server, um, how you set it up. So what you're going to want to do is type dash dash server and for wings it's going to be game.wings11.com and then there's a couple of other things that you can do to make life a little bit simpler um, you can actually put your login credentials into this line as well um, if you do dash dash user and then you put your username here and then dash dash pass and you can put your password there and then every time that you press this profile, it'll automatically run the username and password into the bootloader for you. So you don't have to manually type your login information every time if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to do that though. It's totally optional. We'll leave that off for now. The next thing I want to talk about is the default.txt. This is going to be the file that Ashita uses every time it launches your game. When you boot into the game, it's going to load or do all of the things in default text. So let's take a look at our default text it's going to be in the scripts folder it's right here and let's have a look at it and i'm just going to pull it over here real quick okay so this is your default text and this is all the stuff that it's going to do when your game boots up um, this one's very very basic because it's obviously the default installation so it's going to load up Game's going to load in, it's going to wait for, and then it's going to load window or input, add-ons, and screenshot, which are just some common plugins that you're going to want to have, as well as your add-ons for distance. It'll show your FPS up in the corner with FPS on. Uh, timestamp will show timestamps for your, uh, you know, in your chat log. And Tea Party will show the little numbers next to players in your party to show how much TP they have. Um, common settings, the ambience, this is going to be how, how what color the... Uh, people that you mouse over glow. You don't really need to change this. It's pretty safe to just have it on 255 for everything. And this is gonna set some common keybinds. Um, you can take these out if you want. I leave them, it doesn't really matter. Do whatever you wanna do with those. So this is where you're gonna basically put all of your add-ons that you wanna automatically load every time that you uh, join into the game. So if I wanted to say for instance, I wanna use a sheet of cast. Well, I'll add slash load a sheet of cast. And then when I load into the game, a sheet of cast will boot up for me automatically. I won't have to go into the game and type this out myself. This will just do it for me. Same thing with the filters add on. Um, thing about the filters add on is that you need to load both the filters add on and then the filters that you want to use. So add on load filters. And then I put a wait line here, usually wait like two or three. And then after that, I will put filters load one dot txt. And if you don't know how to use the filters add-on, there's um, a different video where you can kind of learn how to use that. But basically, what this is going to do is it's going to load the add-on for me, the filters add-on, and then it's going to use filters to load up the filters that I want to set for me automatically. So that way, I don't have to do that every time. But yeah, just a few things you can do with that. That's what the default is. Um, you can change the name to whatever you want. You can point it to any text file that you want, um, and it'll do that for you automatically. A couple of other things that you're going to want to do when you set up your Ashita profile initially, you're going to want to go to Window. You're going to want to use windowed mode for sure. Otherwise, anytime you tab out of the game, it's going to crash because Final Fantasy XI is an ancient relic. Uh, show border, totally optional. I play with it off. And then unhook mouse will make it so that you can go to different screens um, while you're in Final Fantasy XI without having to get stuck at the corner of the Final Fantasy XI window. Um, obviously, you're going to want to unhook that. And then you're going to want to set your resolution. Um, if you want to play in true full screen, which is what you're probably going to want to do if you're playing a windowed, it'll be basically windowed full screen, set it to your computer's resolution. So, for instance, let me pull my other sheet up real quick, and we can just take a look at what my... Uh, my wings install looks like on there. And we can do them side by side. 
There we go. Well, let me make sure my GM count is not on here real quick before I show that on screen. Okay, cool. It's not. We're all set. All right. So, perfect. So we'll go to window. I play in 1920 by 1080. So bam, and now those two match. Um, in advanced, there's a couple of things you can do. You don't really have to mess with these if you don't want to. Um, most people don't even know that any of this stuff exists. You can turn your debug logging level down if you want to, if you have performance issues, but you probably won't. Uh, I just have it turned off because I don't really need it, but it doesn't make a difference if you do or don't. And then game. So you're gonna wanna change these probably. Um, the difference between use registry value and what's in a sheet of here is that if you use these, it's going to use whatever you set up in FF11 config. However, you can have a sheet of override all those settings by simply using the game registry settings here. So that's what I did. Um, and I also even went in one extra step and I made my FF11 config match these settings uh, just because you know, I don't think it makes a difference, but I just happened to be doing it for another video, so I, just, I made them line up. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to make a new profile. And then you click a little thing down here at the bottom, and bam, you have a, uh, a Wings login right here. And we can even show you. See, boots up the bootloader just fine. And now you just enter your login information like you normally would, and it'll boot up Wings for you. Let's do one for Eden also, since I happen to have that right here. Um, we're just going to do the same thing that we just did. So this one will be for Eden. Uh, Eden also has its own bootloader. Um, let me grab that file path real quick. All right, sorry about the jump cut there, folks. I had a little bit of trouble finding where I had saved this file for the Eden bootloader, but I've got it now. So we're going to put that into our... A sheet of demo folder which we have right here we're gonna dump this right here in with the bootloaders just with the rest of them bam and we're gonna throw that in there as well and we're just gonna do the same thing that we just did with the wings one we'll go to file and we're in the sheet of demos folder here jump into our bootloaders folder switch this to all files and we'll jump to the Eden 11 one uh, command I don't remember what the command is for uh, for Eden's, let's see. Don't remember what their URL is, so let's see. Edit configuration, looks like it's server play.eden, so there's a similar to ours, looks like, okay. Play.eden11.com. Um, there's a something called a hairpin fix, which is for servers that use just a similar, or just a single IP address. It doesn't work on all of them, but sometimes it helps with certain, staying connected to certain servers. Actually, you could probably remove this, doesn't matter. It's a relic from once upon a time. Um, you can use the same default text or you can use a different one. Um, I recommend for different servers having different default texts loaded here, just because some add-ons are okay on some servers and they're not okay on other ones. So just make sure you pay attention that you're not using any add-ons that are not allowed on the server that you're gonna be playing on. And then more or less just set this up the same way that we did the other one. So, you know, mine says, or I play on 1920 by 1080. Do all the same stuff we did here, unhook that mouse, or un you know, leave the mouse unhooked, and then show border. Uh, this is set on registry value still, I think. Yeah, I didn't change anything on, on here, but we can, so. You know, set it to whatever it is that we're gonna want it on. So, jack those graphics all the way up. Uh, yeah. And bam, now we have Wings and Eden right next to each other. Click that. We can load into Eden right here. Simple as that. That's really all you need to do. Um, one of the other nice things about Ashita over using something like Windower is that there's actually native plugins and add-ons that you can download right here in the launcher. Um, again, I would caution to only use ones that are allowed on the servers that you play on. Some of these are straight up just hacks. 
So I wouldn't recommend just going willy nilly and downloading everything and using it, loading it up. Don't recommend that. Uh, make sure that you follow the rules of the server that you're on, but some of them are pretty useful and some of them are allowed on certain servers. Um, for instance, all maps here is not allowed on some servers. Uh, I don't think Eden allows all maps. On Wings, we give all maps away, so we don't care if people use it. There's really no need, but this is just gonna do exactly what you think it does. It's gonna load all the maps. So you'll have every map in the game if you have all maps loaded. Um, some other useful ones are gonna be uh, Chatmon, which I talked about in the other video. It's just a light little add-on that plays sounds for you when you're examined, when you get tells, when people talk about you in chat, just to grab your attention and go, hey, you need to look at chat. Um, draw distance is one that's downloaded automatically. It lets you change how far you can see or how far things render away from you. Filter list is pretty nice. It On private servers, you're not actually able to set the uh, language filter to stay as off. However, with filterless, it'll just turn the language filter off by force for you. And it even says useful for private servers as the client settings are not properly saved. So it does exactly what you think it does. Here's filters, which is the one we talked about that will let you set your um, your combat filters so that you don't have to see every single message that happens in combat. Um, and like I said, in the other video, you can actually see how this is set up. Find all is pretty nice. Um, it just gives you a search command for all your characters. So if you're looking for a piece of equipment and you think you might have sent it to one of your mules or something, you can do slash find all and then type in the name of the item and it'll go through all of your characters for you and tell you exactly which inventory it's in and where it's at. So if I sent my spike necklace and suddenly I need it and I can't find it in any of my inventory, I'll do slash find all and it'll print out a little text of, hey, it's in this character's inventory in this bag. Super useful. I don't know that it's banned on any servers. I don't think it is but I find it to be pretty nice. Um, instant AH is one that lets you instantly get results from auction bids. So normally on the uh, the default client, there's like a, I wanna say it's like a four or five second delay while the server thinks about whether or not you won the auction. I'm not sure why they did that because the server knows instantly whether or not you bid high enough for an auction or not to win it. So yeah, this'll, May, may make it instant so that you don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones that I use pretty often, but I'm not a real big add-on user. Uh, recast is pretty nice. Recast will let you, um, it'll show a little, basically it'll show text on your screen for the recast of your spells and abilities. So it'll show you if you just cast like refresh or use your two hour, it'll show you the how long the cooldown is on that visually on your screen without having to open your menu, which is pretty nice. Uh, I use that one a lot too, so. And then beyond that, there's also plugins. They're basically add-ons and plugins are the same thing. They're just in different languages and they're loaded a little bit differently. Uh, Ashita Cast is basically gear swap. So if you're a window user, uh, Ashita Cast is your gear swap equivalent for that. Um, I'm not real familiar with the rest of these. Deeps is your um, your damage meters. It's not really the best, but it'll do. It's it's the most basic one. There's some other ones out there that you can use. I don't want to go over those in this video, but yeah. Uh, gear lock will make it so that your character doesn't blink to other people when you switch gear. And other people's gear swaps also won't blink on your screen. It's pretty nice. I don't use it because we have lock style, but if that's something that bothers you, if you're a healer or something and you don't want people's gear swaps blinking and untargeting them, then gear lock might be something to look into. Um, duration is a nice plug into. It tells you um, buffs, and I think it also does debuffs. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on mobs, but it'll tell you how long those durations are on those things and when you need to recast them. Um, Minimap is a pretty popular one. A lot of people use this. It just gives you basically the little mini map at the corner of your screen kind of similar to what you get in the top right hand corner of world of warcraft things like that um i don't use this one personally but a lot of people do they find it really useful and you can configure it in a lot of ways move it around on the screen and stuff so i can see why people like it um shorthand is one that allows you to basically 
it does exactly what you think it does. You can shorthand when you cast spells. So instead of having to do slash M A, you know, quote, cure three, quote, target, you can do slash C three or slash cure three name and it'll do cure three on that person. Things like that. Um, some servers have it banned because you can also use it for some degenerate stuff as well. But use with caution. Make sure to check whether this is available or usable on the server you're playing on. Uh, watch XP is actually pretty useful also. All it does is it gauges how long you've been XPing for and how much XP you've gained and tells you what your XP per hour is. And it's very simple and basic. It's just a little, you know, text overlay on the screen. You can move it wherever you want to. And uh, pretty lightweight, pretty useful information to have. But those are really the only ones that I personally use. There might be some other ones on here that are useful or some that you can download off the internet that uh, are not listed on the uh, default loader. I don't have any of those. I pretty much just use the basic ones here. And even then, I'm not using a ton of them. But it's, if um, you have any that I missed or have any sources on them, feel free to post them in the comments and even do your own explanation video if you want to. But yeah, just wanted to go over how you could get multiples on here. It cleans up a lot of the clutter when you have all of your servers in one place and it makes it a lot easier and simpler to just be able to play on whichever server that you want to, which at the end of the day is what I want people to do. I don't want people to have to feel like, oh, well, I only have a Wings install and if I install Eden, then I won't be able to play on my Wings account anymore. The purpose of these videos is to make it so that people can play wherever they want to and try different things out and make the judgment call for themselves as to where they want to play. And I know people have friends on different servers and things like that that they want to talk to. I totally understand. So hopefully this clears up a little bit of that for people. Um, if there's any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. Um, I don't have my DMs open generally. However, you can reach me in the general chat. I'm pretty much always there. Um, or put in a GM ticket on Wings and maybe I'll respond to that as well. Anyway, this has been fun. It's gone a little too long, longer than I wanted, so... Look out for the next one. I'll probably do the next video um, setting up a retail through Ashita. Anyway, see you guys later. Have a great day.